Padua Expats Club on Sunday the 19th of July had Father Theo Lewis of St George's Congregation as the main speaker. We were talking about uh, death, dying and what to do with the body once you've partied your last in uh, fun town if you're an expat. And uh, first I'd like to ask you, Father Theo, about your background because it really is a bit uh, fascinating, really. Uh, you started out uh, joining the monastic life in Australia at the tender age of uh, 17 only. Yes. In the Catholic Church, yes. Then you went to Rome for a couple of years of study uh, and then you decided on the Orthodox. Uh, church suited you more and you went to a lot of parishes including North Africa and uh, uh, Spain and England but uh, what you did in Greece sounds uh, quite interesting. I spent some time on, on Mount Athos and then worked in a church in central Athens. And then you went back to Australia, your native Australia and um, you then joined the Anglican Church and um, you uh, then stayed a long time in parishes in, in Brisbane? 20 years in Brisbane parishes. Now you've ended up with us here in Funtown in Patia in St George's Congregation. Huh? I have indeed, yes. Right. Okay, so the talk today, um, you, st you gave some very good practical information about what to do at the time of death, like uh, who has to be informed. Can you, can you tell us about that part first? Well, it depends if one dies at home or in hospital. But the best place to die is in hospital because there are fewer complications with the death certificate. But um, the embassy has to be informed and the death certificate is issued after various questions are being answered and such and they had the right information. You were talking as well, it was quite amusing really, your talk was very witty, and you were talking about selecting coffins in the clue, and it all goes by the size of the body, and then when you're uh, being cremated, you pay a different amount because of the different amount of fuel that's needed to, to burn a lightweight body or a heavy body. Uh, tell us about that, selecting the coffin in the clue, very cheap compared to Australia. Extremely. Well, it's in Surrey Post Office. The coffins range in price from 2,500 baht to 25,000, depending upon the quality and the size. Uh, Australia, they're extremely expensive, but some of them come with a 20-year guarantee. It is very handy if the body is to be cremated. Yes, you only need a guarantee for a few hours in that uh, sort of situation, you know, so um, you can also help if the person was a Christian, you're prepared to give uh, Anglican uh, services uh, at, at the what or in a church? At the what if required, or if it's in a church then we go to St. Nicholas Church on Circumbit and pay them a thousand baht for the use of the church. I understand here that it's mainly cremations and I think burials a little bit more difficult, is that right? Yes, it's mainly cremations here. There are no real cemeteries except for the one beside the Catholic Church, which is reserved for their own people. So tell us um, how we find you. I mean, we're, we're going to be putting this information on our website, so people should be able to pick it up on our website uh, shortly. But um, if they wanted to come to St. George's Congregation on a Sunday afternoon for your service, can you tell us where that is? Our service is at 3 p.m. It's a modern English service. Uh, we're situated in Soy 1 of Third Road, Padea Third Road, Soy 1, you drive to the end of the Soy and turn left down the small side road. If you turn right, you end up back on, on the main road. So you go to the end of Soy 1 and turn left and you see the church there. And we're in the Sunday school room behind the church. I think it's just on behind the corner of the block of North Road, Patia Nua, where it turns on to Third Road. Uh, I think if they come up Third Road, that's the easiest way to yeah. then... Yes, I'm sorry, one for Third Road. Um, every Sunday of the year? Every Sunday, 3 p.m. We're open. Okay. Well, it was very good to see you, uh, Father Theo, in the Padia Expats Club. 
And uh, you, I wish you every success with your Christian services in Padilla. Also at Paddier Expats Club today, we had a show, a one-man show of uh, pencil art uh, from a, a Thai artist, young Thai artist called Kun Ek. Uh, some of his examples of his work were on display here today. And um, uh, there's some interest by the expats to, to buy the drawings. Um, Kun Ek, uh, how long have you been a pencil artist? When I was a small boy, yes. So, uh, how old are you now? My 24 years old. So maybe 10 years or more you've been doing work like this? Yeah, I think so. And, uh, you like to work mainly from uh, photos. Uh, so the, the person who, who wants to have their portrait painted, they actually send in a, a photo of themselves. So then uh, Kun Ek can do it from a, from a photo. Uh, where are you based? He works from home. Yes. yes. Uh, he works from home and um, to email a, a small picture to me and I pass it on to him. And my email address you have, Father Theodore at yahoo.com.au. Don't forget the .au. Okay, and your mobile phone number to uh, send in orders? Yes, um, 0871331601. Thank you very much, Father Theo and Kun Ek. Uh, that's all from the Patio Expats Club this week. We hope you'll come down and join us because we have uh, great news, really, for uh, club life members. Uh, we're going to hold a big thank you membership party, uh, probably at the end of August. Uh, it'll be for five to 700 people. Uh, your only entry ticket will just be your life member card. Uh, we tried to take a poll today in the club of what members would like to include, and we're going to have music that's supplied by expats. Uh, we might have a beauty contest at the poolside, and uh, uh, all sorts of uh, quite fun things, and lots of uh, hopefully free beer and a good buffet. So come down to the club and find out what that's about. See you next Sunday. Mm -hmm.